Credit Vera has, we call it the triangle of trust. And the triangle of trust is between the individual. It has the issuer of credentials. Issuers will give you a certificate. And sometimes that certificate has a lifespan and it'll retire at some point or it'll expire and you'll need to get an additional one. With this ecosystem, you're prompted for expiry. All that information is kept current. We have been an issuer of credentials for decades under our brands. Two decades ago, that might have been printing off a wallet card or a wall certificate. And then it became a digital badge based on the open badges framework that exists in the world today. And that still continues to be how mostly a lot of digital credentials are issued when someone completes a program. And then, of course, Credit Vera has unlocked how to make organizations like us become issuers of verifiable digital credentials, which are a, a sea change different from old technology. And then when I issue that credential, there needs to be a lot of trust because they take that credential into the world. The ability to verify someone's identity and the proof of competency digitally in a way that can't be counterfeited, that's the problem they're solving for the world. That's the problem they help us solve as an issuer. We issue hundreds of thousands of training program completions a year. Let's say I was an issuer of credentials and those credentials were then in someone's wallet. They could be asserted to, but they don't necessarily have to be shared. I don't necessarily have to have your driver's license to know that you have a valid one. I don't necessarily have to store your date of birth to know that it was actually valid. I don't actually have to know, and I'm being a little hyperbolous, but when you start thinking about that, I think the future for a credit error or things that are playing in that DID space is going to be dependent on getting more and more issuers, continuing to understand the value of that issuance and the ability to meet privacy through that issuance, the ability to meet ephemerality of a credential with that kind of capability. If that plays out, then a credit vera becomes the glue that builds that all together. The wallet, the portability of it, the tech behind it that applies the DID that then comes into that space for all of these players. If you're an issuer and you're using the credit vera solution, they need to use what's called a decentralized identifier, which is just a file that they would have to put on their website that contains a unique cryptographic key that proves they are who they say they are. Right? This file can never be moved once it's placed there without invalidating every credential that it's been used to create. Basically, they use that cryptographic signature every time they issue a credential. And anyone who looks at that credential can just go back and say, yeah, the signatures match, this came from them. We just want to be future-proofed as an issuer. We're a digital company. We want to provide digital solutions. And when it comes to a technology like Credit Vera's, because it's based on a brand new set of standards that, that will essentially allow for interoperability between systems, we know that future's coming. I want to be ready for it before my competitors. Confidence level with Credit Vera is through the roof. It's easy as anything to use. It's easy as anything to set up. They're constantly working with issuers of different credentials to bring them into that network. That underlying technology of Microsoft, it is honestly the most trustworthy environment you've ever seen. You've got a level of rigor that no one else has, a level of best practice that no one else is displaying. You design the credentials, build the look and feel and everything yourself. A big part of this is the ability to use the credentials all over the place so that if I look at your credential and it's say a university degree, my automated solution already knows what fields to expect. You would be able to come into Credit Vera, pick the schema, basically design a look and feel of that credential. You can make it look like a university diploma if you wanted to. You can put your logo on it, you can do things like that. You can tell what information is required and what information is not required. And then you can issue and those will be verifiable back to you.